Hi there, so like the title of this video says we actually did find a dog. It was raining today and we were coming back from dropping off some items um, at a store. And when we were driving by, there was this little dog just like running on the street and he was just wet and he was really little so I was just really confused. And um, I just jumped out of the car and tried to um, see if he would come to me but he was actually really scared um, so I ended up just hanging out there for a little bit and then Adam drove home picked up some food and then drove back thankfully it was just a couple of streets over and we were able to bring him home I went ahead and of course put his picture online and on Facebook and on Nextdoor even though I don't really use those apps and it turns out that this little dog has been on the street for about like a week or so and somebody else had found him last week and was able to catch him and took him to the vet and check he's not microchip and then I guess that neighbor handed him off to another neighbor who had more time to take care of him and we don't know what happened, but he was out on the street again. And obviously a couple of people like had seen him, but weren't unable, were unable to catch him. So right now he's staying at our house and um, he's dry now and he had some food and water. He seems to have some sort of separation anxiety just because like every time like I walk away, he kind of starts panting. Um, he is very friendly to other dogs like him and Mojo. Uh, met and like we're playing a little bit and right now Mojo is trying to share her toys with him as you can hear in the background uh, but he's just hanging out next to me so my plan is to hey Ma so we are working with another neighbor who volunteers for a rescue and um, her rescue thankfully kind of gave us instructions on what to do they suggested we take him to Multnomah County Shelter where they're gonna put him on a uh, on a waiting list for him to be checked out, spay, and then vaccinated if he hasn't been. And then he gets to be put on a hold for I think I think it's like about 10 days or so uh, to see if anybody claims him. And then if nobody claims him, then the rescue can take him. And um, her rescue is willing to foster him he is pretty cute as you can see here like, like how adorable he is um and i think you know i think he with him being so peaceful and you know mellow with other dogs i think he can definitely um you know find a forever home and we have we have um foster in the past but at this time, my, our cat's not doing so well, so we are trying to just slow down on like the number of other animals that are here at the house, um, just so our kitty's not as stressed. But yeah, so right now he's here. He's gonna be here until tomorrow, and then we're gonna coordinate with my neighbor that um, volunteers for the shelter, and then get him all situated and you know get him intake and hopefully he is able to be foster and then find a home so you know i wanted to document this to kind of like share what's happening today but also to use this as a reminder of the importance of microchipping your uh your pets your dogs your cats if they get lost someone can really take them to the vet or a nearby shelter or anybody that has like a scanner and they would be able to find you know, reunite them with you.